Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're doing a review on Under Armour's Sports Wireless Train Headphones, the Rock Edition. So, these came out back in June, uh, June 28th, I believe, and I waited to put my order in, and they sold out, so I ended up putting my order in, I think the first week of July, and I just got these a week ago. Wow, right? Talk about hype. So, I was super excited when I got these headphones. Uh, these are headphones made and designed to be in the gym and um, as you guys have seen in my videos my go-to pair of headphones for the gym is the Beats X. Now those headphones have been amazing. Usually you could find them on sale for about $99 and they've lasted me a year plus so far right now. Battery's great, no complaints. But um, when you kind of have a pair of headphones designed like this with washable ear cups and all these extra features designed for the gym um, I had to check them out, so got them in last week, and I actually had a trip this past week, so I decided not only to test them in the gym, but also test them on a plane and kind of in everyday situations and see how they do, so let's go ahead and kind of go over the headphones, guys. Now, as far as build quality, I think this is one of the best uh, built headphones for the gym. There's a lot of kind of little features added in there that make them special, so for example, the ear cups and the headband have a grip. So it's designed to actually stay on your head while you're doing intense workouts or bench press, for example, when you lay down. They stay on your head, they don't fall off. Um, that's really cool and really thoughtful. Um, I think the second thing is the ear cups are removable, so they're actually able to be hand washed because if you think about it, it's kind of disgusting if you uh, wear normal headphones because you're sweating and your ear cups are usually kind of absorbing that sweat and it's staying there, right? So it's just building up. Um, yeah, it's kind of nasty. And it more than likely will ruin your headphones over time, right? Because they're not designed to have that much moisture in, in them. So these ear cups are removable, they're washable, and they're designed for that. And they're also um, breathable. So again, they're able to dry up quicker and not retain that moisture. So those are very cool kind of features. Now, on the flip side, because of the grippy material and because the headphones are designed to be a snug fit, these headphones really aren't great for long long term wear right so uh, usually after about an hour hour and 10 minutes just because they're a little bit on the tighter side they start hurting your ears my ears uh, it's kind of a common complaint around the internet as far as these headphones go now i'm not really upset about that because of the fact that they stayed on my head while i've worked out so that, that's kind of a feature on its own so if you're looking for headphones kind of for casual wear or everyday use Definitely would not recommend these because they don't, also don't have noise canceling, but we'll get to that in a second. But it's a trade off, right? So they stay on your head while you're working out. So after about an hour, you're going to feel a little discomfort. Um, I'm not sure if I've gotten used to it or the headphones have just gotten used to me. Um, but after about a week or so, it, it, they've hurt a little less. So I'm not sure how they're going to do long term. Um, but maybe I'll do a video on that later. So build quality really on board with these headphones, foldable design. I love the design, I love the look. Uh, they just look cool. Now, let's go ahead and get to like the best part, the sound quality. So uh, these headphones are made by JBL and they're not designed to be the most sound accurate headphones. So these headphones do lean on uh, the bass. So they are bass heavy headphones. And I think for workout headphones, that's kind of what I would want, right? Uh, the music I listen to usually has a lot of bass. Um, so yeah, I was happy with the sound quality. I was actually kind of um, impressed by the sound quality. This is actually the first pair of JBL headphones I've ever owned. And, and as a whole, really enjoyed them. So uh, again, if you're into bass heavy music and if you're working out with music that I guess doesn't have any bass, classical music or anything like that, I'm interesting, right? <laughs> These headphones might not be for you, uh, but anything else, I think they sounded pretty good. Now, when you look at the value, um, these headphones cost $249. That's a tough pill to swallow, and it gets actually even harder in a second. So when you look at the headphones I use, the Beats X for working out, um, they're about $99 on sale. I think they retail for $129 normally, uh, and they're great. Usually, for me, uh, the headphones I wear during work or for working out aren't the headphones I wear anywhere else, so they're kind of specifically for that. And 100 bucks is reasonable. Once you get to the $250 price point, I mean, you're getting close to the, the Bose, Sony's, even the higher end Beats that have noise canceling, um, are a lot more comfortable to wear. It gets a little hard to justify a specific 
headphones for working out at 250 bucks. But all the features you get, um, all the technology you get, you also have, it's called talk through technology where if someone comes up and starts talking to you, you don't have to remove your headphones. Uh, there's a little button on the side. You can press the button and it allows kind of the voices or kind of turns on the volume so you can hear other people talking because they don't have noise canceling. So uh, it's a cool little feature. Uh, obviously Bluetooth 4.1. So uh, they, they are packed with features that I think could be worth it. But here's the real kicker, the real punch in the gut. JBL released the exact same headphones with Under Armour for $199.95, which means these headphones, the, the Rock Edition, you're paying an extra $50 for the Rock logo right here. Um, crazy, I, I still can't get over that. Uh, because at 200 bucks, I think these headphones, I can strongly recommend them. 250 bucks, it, it pushes me over to say, eh, if you have extra money kind of burning a hole in your pocket, do it. But what really sucks is that the, they make the exact same headphones for 50 bucks cheaper. The only difference is, instead of having the Rock logo, you have the Under Armour logo, which on its own, I absolutely love. I'm a huge Under Armour fan. So when I got these in the mail, I was super excited. Then I saw that JBL Sports Train headphones, 50 bucks cheaper. It's kind of a punch in the gut. Like, why would I keep these headphones? Uh, personally, in all honesty, I'm gonna return them and I'm actually gonna go buy the JBL Under Armour Edition for 50 bucks less because I really enjoyed them. I actually really kind of like the features. I like the fact that I can wash the ear cups. I, I like the fact that they, they are base heavy. Uh, 16 hour battery life is the real deal. So they advertise 16 hours and I use them all week. I use them in an airplane, which I guess I don't recommend, but I use them in an airplane, use them while working out. And after about a week of use every day, I'm about 50%. So uh, 16 hour battery life, it has quick charging, which means you can plug them in for five minutes and you get an hour of juice. They're really cool headphones. I really like them a lot, but I just can't recommend the Rock Edition unless you have extra money, you like that logo and you wanna spend your money. So as a whole guys, Strongly recommend these headphones, the JBL Under Armour Edition, not the Rock Edition, just because they're 50 bucks more for no reason. But uh, let me know your thoughts below. Am I exaggerating that? Am I wrong for feeling a little ripped off? Uh, drop in the comments below and let me know uh, how, how you guys see it. But as always, please like the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.